Yes, I, brothers and sisters, hope everyone's well. It's been a little while since I've come on YouTube. <clears throat> Thought I'd just come on and thank everybody for the support and all the nice messages I've received on my socials. People asking why I haven't been on YouTube for a little while. It's just not a priority at the minute. I'm just not bothered. You know, it's just a, a platform. I can't, just can't really be bothered putting time and energy into it. It's uh, not exactly top of the list of priorities right now. <clears throat> There's a lot of hard work going in the gym. <clears throat> As a lot of you know probably already, I'm fighting Dave, the redneck Mundell for the world title in Spain, Marbella. So, absolutely over the moon. <laughs> you know, what an opportunity. You know, opportunities like this don't really come round for people like me. You see... I'm knee divvy, you know, and I know for sure that I'm not a world class fighter. I don't have a world class skill set. You know, I don't even have like a, a British level skill set. No way. No way, Jose. Nowhere near. But what I do have is world class balls. And I've got to dig on us. You know, and that's and that's all you need. Clearly that's all you need. Look where I am. I'm about to be sat on stage with some of the best bare knuckle fighters in the world little old me i'm not a world-class fighter man i'm just danny from the block four years ago i was locked up in prison on my last sentence an 18 month sentence you know and the distance i've came in that time is it's colossal it's astronomical i can't believe the distance i've traveled in four years where i've been to where I am now, you know, from what I've came from to where I am today. Praise God. You know, let this world title shot be a testament to anybody out there who thinks it's over. Anybody out there who's had a, a succession of bad experiences. Don't ever give up on yourself. Don't ever, ever give up on yourself. Personally, I put my faith in the Lord Almighty, Heavenly Father. The blessed Lord. And he has transformed my entire life from top to bottom. Praise God every day. You see, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for me. And I've got to work double hard in the gym. Because as I've said, I don't have a skill set that can really compete with these world class lads. I even look at some British fighters like the fight that was on the other month there. Johnny Graham and, and Conor Tierney. Now, they've got legitimate skill sets, proper skills. You know, I, I struggle getting myself into the position. I know I'm strong and I know I can whack, but I sometimes struggle getting myself into the position. I've got no feet. I've got no flashy techniques and skills. None, none, none. I've done some amateur boxing 20 years ago. Woo-hoo, it means nothing in this game. What means something in this game is big balls, right? I can take some punishment. I'm as game as the come. And I've got big old shiny steel balls. And the ball does an egg, you know, because hair doesn't grow on steel, right? And I'm as game as the come. And I can't wait to lock horns with this little no-neck mongrel. He's like, listen, before I say what I'm about to say, I've got an enormous amount of respect for him as a fighter. You know, I've got a massive respect for him as a champion. You know, what a fighter. What a well-poised, well-balanced, powerful little man. You know, an incredible, incredible champion, a formidable champion. Now, he's been champion for as long as I've been fighting for the BKFC. During that time, he's only had three fights and I've had six. You know, what does that tell you? That tells you that nobody wants to fight him. He's heavily avoided, right? He's hard to match. Now, one thing this little pillock wants to remember while he's giving me a load of shit is the only reason he's on this card is because of me, right? I'm the one with the profile. I've only had socials for two years. I've only been fighting for two years. I've got a three times a bigger profile than what he's got. You know, he's in the American market is no one even knows who the fuck he is. I know he's a brilliant fighter, but clearly doesn't know how to market himself. That's why he's desperate for Conor McGregor's attention. Some of the stuff he's been saying, man, it's like, mate, you're a 33-year-old man, get a grip of yourself. 
There was one the other day, Conor McGregor had hit a punch machine and he's like, oh my God, Conor, your power is unrivaled. I hope someone's going to be able to fix the punch machine after you've hit it so hard. Ha, ha, ha. Get a grip, man, you fucking wet wipe. And the like, Conor McGregor makes acting look so easy in the Roadhouse movie. Mate, shut up. Fucking hell, man, you're a grown man. Do you not have people that look up to you? Fucking hell, man, where's your dignity? Fucking hell, man. Last time I seen Conor McGregor, I was sinking whiskies with him in the clubhouse, mate. I don't need to make fucking pathetic, cringy videos desperately trying to get his attention. Sort your fucking sell out. And put some respect on my name. You'd still be sat in America with no one to fight if it wasn't for me. Because no one else seems to want this, want this fight. Nobody wants this fight. I'm not a ranked middleweight. I've had one, one win at middleweight. I'm fighting this man because nobody else wants it. I was already matched on this card with somebody else. Then they said, Danny, do you want to fight Dave Mundell for the world title? What do you think I said? I said, fucking right I do. Get him out of here. I'll take him on. Because I'll fight any man in skin. And he's had his, trying to give us a load of grief, saying, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. <laughs> Whatever, mate. Listen, I hope you do. I hope you fucking do. You better. You're watching this, Mundell. You better fucking do that to me. You're a world-class fighter. You've been champion for years. You've been a pro athlete for the majority of your adult life. I've been on a 20-year bender, mate. Four years ago, I was locked up in fucking prison. Don't be telling me that you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Do I look like I give a fuck, mate? You're here because of me. I've got the profile, whether you're world champion or not. I accepted this fight. That's why you're here. For no other reason, mate. I don't expect respect off him. I don't expect anything off him. His team... Probably haven't given me a prayer in this fight. And I know why. Because I'm not a world-class fighter, as I've said. But I'll get in there and swing it out with him. We'll fucking see. I think, I think I'm going to take his chin off. As simple as that, I think I'm going to take his chin off. You know, and I haven't really watched him, much of him, until lately. I've watched him as a fighter. I've always admired him. He was a brilliant skill set. You know, one hell of a champion. But... Outside of the ring, you know, looking a little bit of him lately, I can't help but think, like, what a little prick. <laughs> like, no wonder nobody knows who you are. Like, you're in the American market. Like I say, you've been a pro all your life. And you've got... you've Like, no one knows who the fuck you are. Like, I know it's not all about followers and that. That doesn't make nobody a better fighter. But what, you've got 15,000 followers? You're a world champion in the BKFC. Like I say, you've been an MMA champion. And I don't know how many organisations... Before you got here. Like. No one knows who you are mate. Right. So. I'll see you in Spain. Right. No neck mongrel. And we'll see how scared I am of you. When I get there. 